Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. And for this video, we'll be creating a two-sided spring Easter centerpiece, one with traditional colors and the other one with rustic neutral colors. So we'll begin with the planter base. Here I'm going to take three of these crates from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take my utility knife and I'm going to press down, straight down, get the fingers out of the way, and press down until it goes through. And it's super easy because this wood is really soft. So then I'm just going to try to nudge it off, but I need to score the bottom a little bit in this manner. And once I score that a little tiny bit, then it just pops right off. And you'll do this to all three with the center one removing both sides. Now I'm going to take some of this super glue, wood glue, and I'm going to add the glue to the cut sides to create one large planter in this manner and don't throw away those other pieces or remnant pieces they will come in handy for other projects because they are wood so now here I'm going to attach the other piece and since it's a super glue wood glue it actually dries pretty quickly like in just a matter of a couple hours is all that's all I waited and here it is and no hot glue needed at all now I'm going to go in with the Waverly Antique Wax and give it a nice full coat. I did add a little bit of water to it just to thin it out. And now I'm going to use the Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Plaster to do a dry brushing on it just to make it look more rustic because this planter is going to have a rustic base but one side will be a traditional festive look and the other side will be a rustic neutral. Now for the bunny houses. I'm going to take three of these arrows, two large ones and one short one, and I'm going to go in with the wax again and do the same thing, add a little bit of water. Now I'm going to go in with the plaster chalk paint again to do a dry brush on here. And I'm just going to do very lightly, but if it goes a little thick, don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. Dry brushing, there's really no wrong way to do it. It's just however it comes out, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> So just go over it and I went ahead and did both sides because again, like I mentioned, this is going to be double sided. And here they are, nice and ready. And now I'm going to go in with some of this fabric lace tape that my sweet friend Dina sent me. And she sent me two colors, this beige one and then a white one. So I ended up doing this beige one on this side and then the white one on the other side. And you'll see the difference in a little bit. But if you can't find this lace tape, I'm sure regular old lace trim or ribbon would work just this is just convenient because it has the adhesive on it already so that just makes it a little easier but otherwise hot glue and Dollar Tree lace trim works great so here it is you can see the white one on one side and the beige on the other now ready to start assembling I'm taking some of these floral foam bricks this one comes I think four four bricks in a pack and they fit perfectly in these crates except for I needed another half to fit on the end and I just kind of pressed it down to make an indention and then I'm taking my multi-tool that has a kind of a sharp edge and slice down the piece I don't need and I just wedge it in there and I didn't add any hot glue or anything it fits perfectly and is wedged in there so it's not gonna go anywhere so now here are my little houses now I need to embellish these little houses and I'm going to go in with these super cute gingham bunnies oh my goodness these are new this year at Dollar Tree they are so adorable so I'm taking a couple of the purple ones a couple of the pink ones and I think I only did one blue one if I would have done a taller house for the center I probably could have fit two of the blue ones but I wanted to have a variant of size on the houses so I just went ahead and did it like this so it's just one blue and if I would have thought about it, I could have made them to where they represent my grandkids. But then they would have been colorful because I have four grandsons and just one granddaughter. So that's okay. We'll just do this in this manner. So now I'm taking the center house and pressing it down as far as I can. And once I get my indention, then I'll pour a bunch of glue. And now I'll add my little house, set it in there. And I'll do the same thing for the other two, just kind of press down. Got to put a little bit of pressure, but it'll go down just fine. And again, add a bunch of glue. And now secure the house in the floor foam, like this. So now here's a third one. Same thing. Just push down. 
add the glue and add the house. Look how adorable. And now I want to add a little bit of ground coverage to this floral foam. And I happen to still have some of these moss sheets, which are fantastic for this type of application. You're just going to cut and put together almost like a carpet. You won't even notice where the seams are. And if you cut it a little too short, no problem. Add a little bit more. You really can't mess it up. Add glue and put your pieces down. Like I mentioned, like kind of like a puzzle. And look, here they are. There's the base. Now I'm still going to work on this part. So I'm going to add some more of these bunnies because there's still space on the two larger houses. So I'll just alternate the purple and the pink. The poor blue is all lonely all by itself. <laughs> the watcher of the gals. How about that? The watcher of the gals. So now we're going to work on the other side. And on this side, I'm going to use these brand new super cute little bunnies. They're wood bunnies with little cotton tails. Oh my goodness, they are so adorable. And they're small enough, I can add three to the large house, the houses, and then one for the center house. But look how cute. And then I still had extra, so I went ahead and added some to the front of the planter and kind of had their little ears peek out, peek out a little bit. So I thought that would be cute to see from the other side. So just like this. Basically, I wanted to kind of conceal where the the seams are from when I put the crates together because these crates are not made equal. They're not they're never made equal. You just have to work with it. So now I'm just going to add my hot glue and adhere them in this manner. Now a little later, I do take them off because then I add, I decided to add some of that lacy trim to the top of the planters. So I do beige on this side like the beige on the top of the roofs and on the other side i do the white trim lace tape just like the top of those houses so i do remove these later but for now that's how it is and now we'll move into some of the embellishments this is the, going to be the fun part so i'm going to use these easter eggs from last year and some of the waverly antique wax and then this pack of little minis with some of these colors this yellow this pink purple, blue, orange, green, and white. And just like that, they're all painted. <laughs> now I did leave some neutral ones in the little box, the little wooden box, because I'll use those for my neutrals. And now I'm going to mix match these colored ones just to give them a little bit more interest. And I'll adhere them together with some hot glue. And once I get those done, then I'll flip them over. The other side has the antique wax. And then I'll add the neutral colored pieces onto the backs so that way one side is neutral and one side is traditional and you'll see how it looks on the planter in a little bit but look how cute and i do use those rabbits for some of these the little chickies i end up using later on just to help embellish the whole planter and the little carrots you'll see those in a little bit too but look how adorable. Oh, these are so cute. These little pieces are so much fun. So here they are already. So you see one side, they're all decorated in a traditional color. And on the other side, very neutral. Because you know, sometimes you want neutral. Sometimes you want traditional. So now I'm ready to put everything together. Here is my planter. And now I'm going to add these Easter eggs. And all I'm going to do is take a little bit of hot glue and adhere these down onto the moss sheets like this so I'm just going to place them where I think I want them I think I did three on each side or so just whatever I felt like would look cute and I usually don't show this much detail in my placement of my embellishments but since this is going to be the only DIY for this video I figured I'll show more and you guys can see my thought process and Sometimes I do change things up, things up, like I mentioned with the little bunnies on the other side. I do end up changing that up a little bit. And as you can see here, there's no lace on the front of this planter yet. So I do that later. So look, I'll turn it around and look, all neutral. Look at that. This side, all traditional. So now I'm going to go in with some of these moss bunnies. These are super cute and they come three in a pack. So I'm just taking some bamboo skewers that I had added a little bit of the antique wax and I'm just going to add some glue and press these down now because of the moss sheets it's going to be a little bit difficult to do that so I'm using one of my weeding tools 
to make the hole to kind of like pre-make a hole push a hole in there and now I can add my bamboo skewers in my pre-made hole like this just push down a little bit and may have to do it twice <laughs> but yeah there it goes so here I added the bigger bunny on one side and then the two smaller bunnies on the other side but of course you can do however you want but I thought this would look cute so here I'm going to add the two that are kind of like sitting on this left side and then the one that's kind of well one sitting straight up and the other two are kind of like sitting like down and like this look how cute so now I'm going to do a little bit of greenery I had these extra ferns from I think they were from the mini roses so I like the color of this these firm pieces because they they have like a light green and a darker green and a little bit of that like a powdery stuff on it so I thought it was kind of you know kind of neat so I'm going to use those to add greenery and add interest to my houses so I'll add one piece on each side of these houses so I end up using four four on one side and four on the other side like this so now here you can see the other side starting to come to life little by little now here I have a bunch of these little pieces that are also from those uh, mini roses and I just cut them in little tiny bits and I'm just going to add them because I think the little tiny bits of greenery really gives it a very interesting and kind of high-end look very delicate and I don't know I think it's in the details it's all in the details and these tiny little pieces they just bring it to life I think just super cute so I'm just gonna take my time and add these to I do it to both sides now I'm going to go in with these mini carrots these are brand new from the Dollar Tree they're kind of like a little foam tiny carrot and I'm just going to add these to the very front almost like there's a carrot patch in front of the house so I just keep adding some greenery and that lace trim and here's how it looks here's one side the traditional side and here's the neutral side if you're on Instagram I invite you to come follow me here is my QR code here's my QR code for TikTok here is my handle for Pinterest I do have a Facebook crafting group I invite you to come join us there and now we're at the final reveal let me know what you guys think and which one is your favorite the traditional or the neutral I'd like to take a moment to show my appreciation for you guys stopping by and taking time out of your busy day to watch my video I really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and if you want to see more definitely subscribe because lots more is coming and I'm excited to bring you more fun DIYs until my next video stay healthy safe and strong and have a great great day bye bye